Hey cuties! So today I wanted to do a video about sizing and how my boobs fit into a extra small. Which for some reason whenever I do clothing hauls, if I haul a medium, if I haul a large, if I haul a small, it's fine. But as soon as I haul a small or, or an extra small or an extra extra small, then all havoc breaks loose. How do you even fit in that? And people go crazy. And that is why I'm addressing this today because I see the top comments on hauls whenever I show an extra small and there's like 300 plus thumbs up on that. So I'm gonna show you guys how my boobs and how I fit into an extra small. Please note that I am A, under 100 pounds and 4'9". So I am a very small individual, but I do have big boobs. And I know people are probably sick of hearing that like, oh, I have big boobs, I'm under 100 pounds, I'm 4'9". But people still dwell and focus on the extra small in the body type so much that I have to do a video. So I'm gonna show you guys how I fit in there. So let's go. First of all, the shirt that I'm wearing right now, this is actually my sleep shirt right now, and it is an extra small. As you can see, it is pretty baggy. I do have a little bit of stains on here just cause I was cooking and I get messy when I cook. Who, who knows, but that's not the point. Um, this is an extra small, as you can see how baggy it is. That is like that, and yeah, it looks like that. My boobs look like almost nothing in here. And this is what I am trying to show you. Brand names and different sizing are different. When I go into the garage and get extra small, I can't even fit it over my head. Not my body, my head, it is so tiny. Now if I go into Old Navy and grab an extra small, it is baggy and loose and comfortable fitting. Different brand names will fit differently because uh, Forever 21 to me fits perfectly for sizing. It's very true to size. Also different styles, like this fit. This fit is very loose and baggy and fun. That is an extra small, so if it was a medium, it would kind of fit the same. Do you see what I'm saying? It's just a smaller type for me. I am not an expert in sizes, in fashion, but I am an expert in knowing to be confident. And first of all, if something fits you, that's good. That is what you want. You want something to fit you. But if it's baggy like this, then, you know, I'm confident and I'm happy. And if I'm just sleeping in it, then it doesn't really matter. You should never be looking at the sizes in determining if you like it or if it's going to fit you. Because sometimes mediums fit me really, really tight and sometimes extra smalls fit me really baggy. So I just have to pass on that item. You should never be looking at the size to determine whether you're gonna put it on your body because different brand names will fit differently different styles will fit differently. So here's this that says extra small if you for some reason don't believe me. Here's the infamous sports bra that I hauled that people said that I would never get my boobs in there and I would be very uncomfortable in pulling it up. Um, I think this fits perfectly actually. The band isn't rolling up. I have room to breathe like this and it's holding me in. I am not getting the fat rolls over here where it's too tight where it's I'm falling out of it. Not at all. I can breathe and a sports bra you want to fit tight so that it can suck your boobs into place while you are running. And as you can see, I have room, but it is still tight fitting. So there we go. This is how I fit into the extra small. Do not focus on sizing, you guys. Focus on how it fits, please. That is how some young girls get discouraged when they walk into a store and they say, oh my gosh, you know, I am a size zero in pants. So I'm gonna choose the size zero and go into the fitting room and they can't even do them up because they're so tight. That can be discouraging. So they think, oh no, have I gained weight? You know, anything like that? No, different places will fit you differently. Gigi just mentioned in one of her last videos that she went into a clothing store and she's normally a double zero, I think she said, or a zero. Anyway, she said, grab me a zero. And then the guy said, oh, that's not gonna fit you, honey. And she was shocked because that's my size, right? But that also goes to show you that even if you are a set size in different places, you may be a size up or down. So I actually worked out in this and it's probably one of the most comfiest sports bras that I have personally worn. Here is an example of something not really fitting me that well that isn't extra small. My am squeezed in this. Although it seems to fit me a little bit, it is really hard to get on and it is even harder to get on with a 
a bra. Now, these little thingies right here are supposed to be right here on me, so this doesn't really fit me that well. This shirt is horrible for an extra small. Also, the undershirt here that I'm wearing is an extra small. This shirt, like, what even is happening here? What is this shirt? I had to put an undershirt on to show you guys this because let's just picture just my bra. I mean, how are you supposed to wear this out when it's like this? How? It would show my whole bra. Like this shirt is just poorly made to fit a body. Even though this is extra small, I would need like a four times extra small for this to fit so that it would fit right on here and it would go up and stay up. But that's not what this shirt does. Like look how loose and baggy it is. This is just a really bad fitting shirt. And even though I can pull it up and it may look good like that, but in like a few minutes, it falls down like this. And it's like, cool, I'm a peep show now. So something like this being an extra small, like what even is it? Like, no. Yay for this extra small. This fits me and I have room. My mom says it's too big on me because this comes out like this again. If I'm comfortable and it looks somewhat okay, then I am okay with it. It's not too tight and it's not too baggy. Again, I am not an expert on how something fits. Maybe this doesn't fit at all. Maybe none of these fit at all that I think fit. But I feel that if you're confident in it and it's not hindering your body, as in if you're uncomfortable and it's like sticking to you and you're constantly pulling up the straps or pulling it down or pulling it up, then you're not comfortable in it. And I feel that you shouldn't wear it if you're not comfortable because I wear things sometimes that don't really fit my boobs but fit my body like the um under strapping thingies will go like right here well then that doesn't fit me but if it fits me in all the other places then it really doesn't bother me much some people may have a heyday and a fit and lose it from that but what ifs even though this shirt is a bit see-through this is from old navy it was in my last haul video this is an extra small and it's a little bit baggier and comfier but it fits me and i love it same with this this and this so please, you guys, this video isn't about boobs and how I technically fit in an extra small. It is more about showing you guys to not read the sizing and not be caught up in what something says, whether that's brand name, whether that's sizing, whether that's material, unless you are allergic or are against certain materials that go into things. Just wear things that make you happy and confident and don't focus on reading the labels as much. That is what the point of this video is and to showcase and show you guys that different things will fit different differently depending on brand name and different stores and styles. So I hope you guys took something from this. Please don't be focused on that. Or if you go in a store and you're usually a three and then you're fitting like a size eight in that store because the store next door will fit you in a three or maybe even a zero. You just never know and you have to try different sizes to see what fits for your body type. I am an advocate for rarely wearing things that really fit me, but I'm confident and comfortable in. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and just be yourself and be happy and I will talk to you later. Bye guys. Oh my God, I just made it out. Oh.